Hi, I'm Adam Driver. I'm in a new movie called 65, where I play a space pilot who, 65 million years ago, crash lands on prehistoric Earth. Location unknown. I discover that an asteroid, the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs, is headed for Earth. Send help. So my first question for NASA is, what if we found out that an asteroid like this were gonna hit our planet today? Hi Adam, I'm Kelly Fast. I'm an astronomer and I manage the Near Earth Object Observations Program in NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office. Well, the good thing is that we're really not that concerned about asteroids of that size. Those large ones, most of them have been found. They're easier to spot, there are fewer of them. But there are asteroids still left to be found that aren't that large, but still are of a size that could do damage should they impact. And so that's why NASA has a Planetary Defense Coordination Office. If an asteroid were discovered that were going to impact Earth, NASA's role would be to inform planning, to give information about the asteroid, about where the impact would happen, about what the effects might be, so that everyone would have the most up-to-date, accurate, and expert information available. Last year, NASA sent a spacecraft to intentionally impact an asteroid as a test of technology. Would that work? Could that be an effective uh, means of saving the planet from an asteroid? NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, did successfully test a method of asteroid deflection, the kinetic impactor. And so DART showed that we do have technology for diverting an asteroid in space, but there is still a lot left to be done. Options for deflecting an asteroid or doing anything about an asteroid really depend on the asteroid, on its size, on its composition, but crucially on the amount of time before the impact. They have to be discovered early in order to be able to do something about them. NASA sent a spacecraft to a near-Earth asteroid recently to collect a sample. Why are scientists bringing that sample to Earth, and what do they hope to learn? NASA's first asteroid sample return mission, OSIRIS-REx, successfully collected pieces of an asteroid called Bennu to bring that sample back to Earth. Scientists are very interested in studying Bennu because it is largely unchanged since the formation of the solar system. And so scientists plan to study that sample to learn about the early solar system, to learn about the origins of organics and water, which are important for studying life on Earth. Well, this goes without saying, but thank you for your work in keeping the planet safe from world-ending asteroids plummeting into our planet. Maybe I shouldn't look so happy when I say that. <laughs>